Welcome back to 30 Days of Photoshop. Today, we're gonna to show you how to color grade your images. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, as part of our 30 Days of Photoshop series, we're gonna show you how to color grade your images. It's incredibly simple to do, and you can add some beautiful color effects to your highlights, midtones, and shadows. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. So first we wanna go ahead and open up our sample image here. Now you can actually download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. I'm gonna click on F for full screen. And now we wanna go ahead and open up our adjustment layers. So let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layers and over to levels. Now there are many different ways to affect color in Photoshop, but when it comes to color grading, levels are my absolute favorite. So let's go ahead and open up our levels. Let's click OK here. And we're just gonna bring our property window out so we can see this just a little bit larger. Now, by default, levels are traditionally used for highlights and shadows. For instance, you can adjust your mid-tones, you can adjust your black levels and your white levels. You can even make your lights darker and your darks lighter. Let's go ahead and reset that. Now, what I love to use levels for is going into the different color channels and adjusting those to color grade. So let's go into our red channel first. Now, if I click on our little input level slider to the left, what this does is it actually pulls reds out of my shadows. Okay, so I'm in my red channel now. This is gonna take reds away from my shadows, which is basically like adding cyan. If I go from the right-hand side, it's going to add reds into my highlights and you can see it's gonna make my image a little bit brighter as it does that as well. Now, coming from the bottom, I can put reds in my shadows and this is gonna brighten up my shadows as I do this. Or I can take away reds from my highlights and this is gonna darken my highlights as I do this as well, okay? So keep in mind, the top one will brighten highlights and add red. This will darken highlights and add cyan. This will darken your shadows and add cyan, and this will lighten your shadows and add red. Okay, now the same thing is true for our other color channels. So if we go to our green channel, we're gonna see pulling greens out of our shadows and making our image darker, and adding greens to our highlights and making the image lighter. The opposite here, this is gonna pull greens out of your highlights and make your image darker, and add greens in your shadows and make your shadows lighter. And then last is our blue channel. So here we're going to be pulling the blues out of our shadows and making the image darker. We're going to be adding blues into the highlights and making the image lighter. And then here we're gonna be adding blues to the shadows, making the image lighter, and then pulling blues away. So you can see blue and yellow are opposites in this case. If we go to our green channel, and you can use your center here too. So we have magenta and green are opposites. And then in the red channel, we can see that uh, cyan and reds are opposites. So from here, now that we know that, it's time to start like figuring out what we wanna do with color toning. And in this case, I actually wanna see about maybe cooling the shadows down, maybe making them a little bit more blue and warming the shadows up a little bit. So if I'm gonna be working with blue and yellow primarily, that's gonna be my blue channel. So let's go over here to our channels. We're gonna go down to blue. And now I have the option, do I wanna put yellows in my shadows and blues in my highlights or the opposite? Do I wanna put some blue in the shadows and yellow in the highlights? And I think that actually is gonna look really nice. So let's go ahead and grab our blue channel and pull this from the left or the right a little bit, making our shadows a little bit more blue. And now I'm gonna take this from the right to the left and make our highlights a little bit more yellow. So turning this off and on, that's beautiful already. Now. If there's anything missing, like I think like the highlights are really nice, but they're a little bit too green for me. So I'm gonna go to my green channel, okay? And we're gonna see about pulling some greens out of the highlights. So pull right over here, you just go down and pull your greens down a little bit. And there we go, we pulled those greens out of the highlights. I really think that looks nice. Now, I want a little bit of red in our midtones. So if I want some red in the midtones, we just go to our red channel and I can push this to the left a little bit. There we go. And if you're not sure where to push and pull, you can just click and drag it. You know, there's no harm in this. It's just like, oh, not that way. I'll go this way. You know, like 
even I've been doing this for years and I, I forget all the time. So don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't have to memorize this. So let's just go to the left a little bit. And that's going to add a little bit of red into our shadows. All right, let's or into our midtones rather and go ahead and pop back our property menu. So let's go ahead and turn this off and on. Here's our before image and here's our after fully color toned. And I think this is just an absolutely beautiful effect. It's so wonderful to do this with the levels adjustment layer. All right, let's go ahead and do one more. We'll make this invisible layer down to new adjustment layer. When we're color toning, generally I like to do this a couple of times just so I'm like, oh, I like that one. Let's see how this next one feels. And then you can just choose your favorite. So here again, I'm going to go to my different color channels. So our red channel, this time I'm going to put some reds in my shadows. There we go. That's going to be really nice. I don't necessarily, well, maybe a tiny bit of cyan in my highlights, but I definitely want more yellow in my highlights. There we go. And less green in my highlights too. So let's pull the greens down with my highlights. There we go. So this is a, a little bit of a warmer type image. Let's go ahead and make our midtones a little bit warmer as well. Fantastic. And just go in, if you go back to RGB, by the way, this is just red, green, and blue. It's a combination of all your color channels. This just affects light levels. So if I'm like, I want my image to be a little bit lighter, you can take your whites, maybe make those a little bit brighter and your midtones. And let's do this too. Maybe I'll make my dark switch just a tiny bit darker here. All right. There we have it. And I still think there's images a tiny bit too green. So we're just gonna take the green out a little bit and push it towards magenta. Fantastic. Now, don't forget, these are just adjustment layers. So you can turn them off and on at any time or just lower the opacity. If you're like, you know what? I like this effect. I think I just made it a little too strong, which I do all the time. Just go ahead and lower down the opacity. No big deal. And then you kind of get the best of both worlds. So here's our first where we have a little bit of a cooler image. And here's our second where we have a little bit of a warmer image. And personally, uh, I actually like both of these. So uh, by the way, you can combine them too. So check it out. If we have our first visible and our second visible, what? Look at that. Both on and off. Uh, you can just continue going and going and going until your heart is really happy. And that's all there is to color grading in Photoshop. I love using this technique. It couldn't be more simple. Get in your levels adjustment layer and play around. Now, if you haven't already done so, be sure to sign up for 30 Days Photoshop. It's absolutely free. You get all the images so you can follow along as well as additional bonus downloads and discounts on flern.com. Not to mention, we'll send you a daily newsletter so you guys can keep up and track. It's the best way to get from beginner all the way to pro in 30 days. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.